Okay, here's how to define a customized layer. This is, if you do your research, you maybe design, okay, I have a new idea about how to do a fancy layers and uh, I change the layer, uh, change the network so I can design new kinds of layers. So here, for example, I do a cent center the layer. What I do here, I just uh, make the input have zero centered. So what I do is like very similar to what defined, uh, defined uh, MLP before, we create a class called center the layer, which is a subclass of um, block. Similarly, we define the init function that, but we don't have parameters for this layer, so we just uh, call the uh, hot, um, called the um, blocks initializer. And in a forward function, given x, we just return x minus by its min. So now the output, we have zero, uh, zero centered. To use it, it's very similar to like, like a customized MLP that we create instance and feed the data, one, two, three, four, five, and you can see that output is centralized like minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. Okay. And you can think it's, it's a network or you can think as a layer as well. So for example, I can create the unsequential, give a dense layer, and my customized center the layer. So in Gruon, there's no difference between net layers, networks on the block because in the future we can see that Usually we create network not just a layer by layer, we organize to blocks and several blocks and a lot of for loop. So that layers, network, all the other things just a subclass of a um, block. So given a customized layer, we can initialize it and given the random x, we can get the results. We see that the results mean is actually a pretty small number. It's not close to zero. So previously, the layer doesn't have any parameters. Now we can create the layer have its own parameter. What we do here, firstly, we know that all the parameters is dictionary. It's called parameter dict. For dictionary, you can create a layer given the name of the layer, the name of the parameter, and the shape of the parameter. So device, we, cannot, we don't need the device right now because device, we cannot get the device letter. So if you get this one and the parameter, we actually insert a new parameter into this dictionary and you see that this dictionary have a parameter, the length prime two, the shape is here. But you can also specify the data type as well. Now, using it, now we can create a dense layer, my dense layer is similar to what we had before. Um, you can similarly, we can have two functions. One's the init function, one's the forward function. The init function, it the output the units, the output the size. The in unit is the input size. So we initialize it again. There's a two thing, key thing here. From the parameter, we create a new parameter called weight. And the shape is the input size, the output size, and and save it in the self, uh, self dot weight. Similarly, we create the bias from the parameters and save into dot bias. In the fault function, given x, we, s we can do the multiplication between x and the self weight dot data. This because we need the data to get the parameters and the plus the bias. So two things here. Before to different to implementing uh, implementation uh, implementation from scratch, that we didn't specify the initializer yet. We just tell the system, okay, I can create a parameter with this shape, and which device and which initialization method we gonna uh, let on. We gonna specify that. Also, we stay we save the parameter in the weight so that either we can access the parameter by using name weight or I can just access by dot weight. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a member. Okay, so to use it, it's very similar as before. Like we create my dense layer, the output size is three, 
the input size is five, and then I print the parameters, you can see that here's the weight, the length weight, and this layer name is called my dance zero. So the parameter length, the layer name with the parameter name. And the, we have the shape here. Similarly, we initialize it, and given random uh, input, we can get the output. OK, any questions so far? We can use it to construct multi-layer perceptions. For example, given unsequential, pass my dense layer, which is output equal to eight. And the only thing differently here, we need to specify the input shape. Before, we don't need to do that. We can explain why later. Also, for the second dense layer, we're going to tell you the input, the input size of this dense layer. Then, initialize it. Now, we, because we know the network um, input dimension could be 64, we, the x should be have the 64 here. So the shape should be matched. So the input x shape matches the first uh, layer input size, and the first layer output size should match the second output uh, input, uh, second layer uh, uh, input size. Okay, so when you compute, you get two by one matrix uh, Y here. Okay, so that's all about 